Lines in Russian greeted Premier Khrushchev as his motor caravan drove through Iowa towns today on his way to several farms in the Coon Rapids area. He told Roswell Garst, his host for the tour, that he felt this was going to be a jovial day, and he took a keen interest in whatever, whatever he saw, whether it was sorghum, hybrid corn, or healthy Iowa livestock. Corn chopping caught his eye, and he had several questions to ask wherever he went about the crop and the machinery used for harvesting. It seemed to observers that the weariness he showed at a dinner last night had been replaced by an eagerness more characteristic of Khrushchev. The press, the press of cameramen irritated Garst more than once. Then through an interpreter, Khrushchev and Garst discussed the relative merits of American and Russian corn. But the conversation took a very stra strange twist, at least for an atheist such as Khrushchev. When uh, Mr. Garst first came to our country, we bought hybrid corn from him. В этом году господин Гарс был у нас и видел нашу гибридную кукурузу. Наша хуже вашей? This year, Mr. Garst visited our country again and saw the hybrid corn we now have. Is it any worse than yours? No, I think, <laughs> I don't like to say worse, I think uh, it's very good. Я бы не сказал хуже, я бы сказал, что это очень хорошая кукуруза. Да, поэтому если бы я сейчас сказал, что я хочу купить у вас гибридную кукурузу, а Гарс умный хозяин, он сказал, ну Хрущев, наверное, поглупел, хочет купить у нас то, что себя имеет. И now if I were to say that I want to buy some more hybrid corn now, uh, Garth would probably think I've grown stupid. Очень хороший у вас скот, замечательный. Yeah, wonderful cattle. Tell Mr. Khrushchev uh, that uh, we have a higher rainfall in this area than uh, is true in most of the Soviet Union and uh, the it's thickness of our it. planting is probably somewhat based upon higher rainfall oh, expectations. Uh, so is this обычно больше осадков, чем в советском периоде среднем, и поэтому может быть этим объясняется то, что они более... Я вам скажу, что вы умные люди, это да, верно. Но что Господь Бог вам тоже помог, чем вы не виноваты, это тоже признаете. Uh, I must say that you are a very wise and intelligent people in, in this part of the country, but we must also admit that God has helped you quite a That's bit. That's right, he's on our side. On the Nafik Sarahi. Is it good? No. The soil. Вы что думаете, думаете, только вам Бог помогает, а нам не помогает? You mustn't think God is helping only you. <laughs> нам, нам Он больше помогает. It's hel he's helping us too. Yeah. Мы быстрее растем, чем мы. Because we are developing. Значит, Бог на нашей yeah. стороне. Well, you tell him, we have a saying in the United States, he likes yeah. to both yeah. saying. Yeah. The Lord helps those who help themselves. Uh, and Mr. Khrushchev added that God, therefore, is on our side. The same God says that we have a saying that God is on the side of those who help themselves. God always supports the intelligent. He always supports the intelligent. Yeah. <laughs> and that was today's discussion of God. Now back to John Daly in New York. Thank you. Governor, uh, here we are in Iowa, where Senior Khrushchev is giving you apparently the cook's tour. Uh, what is well, your personal opinion about this? Got to get the farmer's tour in any event. Yes. Well, this, of course, one of the great sites of the world for uh, anyone who's interested in corn culture. The Garst Farms and their management and the extent to which they have increased uh, yield by the use of uh, fertilizers and insecticides and herbicides um, is uh, phenomenal. and. Uh, aggravates our farm problem and also ensures our, our productivity. I think the, if uh, Mr. Khrushchev had any one thing that he wanted to see most in this country, I, my guess would be that it would be uh, corn farming and the gas farms in Iowa. He does admit that he is not quite up to our productivity of, and methods of farming. I think they know a good deal about the methods. They haven't applied them mm -hmm. yet, but they're in the process of doing it, I have no doubt. What, what value do you think this is all going to have, Governor, in the end result? 
All right. Yes, sir. Uh, Captain, you know, you know, what its value is to, uh, to the, uh, the resolution of our problem of peace with the Soviet Union, but I think uh, if we think of it in terms of the increased well, well-being of um, mankind, that uh, the insurance of an adequate diet for the world, whether they're Russians or whether they're Indians, is, uh, is very important. And, of course, the increased uh, production of corn means increased production of livestock. And that means more meat in the human diet. And this is what one of the things uh, where the Russians have been very deficient in, which they're now trying to correct. So how about just an increase in understanding between uh, Mr. Khrushchev and the United States? Well, I said to Mr. Khrushchev when I was in Moscow last summer, I thought the best place to hold a summit meeting would be in an Illinois cornfield. <laughs> that is, uh, he ended up in an Iowa cornfield. <laughs> he told us yesterday, Governor, he thought it might be a good idea that once a year the, uh, uh, what, he or his successor and the president of this country have a meeting once a year. What do you think of that idea? I made a <clears throat> speech several years ago in a recent presidential campaign, which I said I thought we ought to have more and less formal meetings at all levels. So I'm in favor of, uh, of talking at every opportunity we can get. I didn't suppose there were any flies out here. This is a great surprise to me. We didn't bring them. <laughs> you have to excuse me. Now, I, I'm, I'm going to go and see some more of this farm because I'm not only going to come out here to pay my respects to our distinguished visitor, but also to see what I can do to improve the yield of corn on my farm and I. Governor, just one last question. Is there anything special that you want to tell Mr. Khrushchev when you see him at the, at the guard farm? I'd like to talk with him about some things um, uh, having to do with what he has learned about us and uh, what he thinks we've learned about the Russians. And also, I'd like to talk a little about the uh, implementation of his proposal for universal disarmament. Is that as harebrained to you, to you as it is to some, sir? No, it isn't. No, on the contrary, I think we should treat it with the utmost sobriety and, and examine it most carefully. I've always been one of those who felt that, uh, that uh, the, um, the arms race was the most uh, hazardous uh, affliction that we, which we suffered and that we have to do something to arrest it. And I think we're on the eve of doing something about nuclear testing and maybe we can go beyond that. Thank you, Governor. I'd like to hope so. Thank you very Thank much, you,